Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernard from the BTN HD, and today is all about uh, upgrading to SCCM 1910. Uh, it hasn't been fully released as of yet, but it is part of the Fast Ring, which you have to um, get a PowerShell script to push out the update to your machine. I really don't recommend pushing this out to a production machine. If you don't have a testing environment, make sure you back up your SCCM server and or take snapshots of it before you do this okay best practice is take a snapshot of your server or back up your server before you do any major upgrade okay that also includes backing up your database okay cool all right so let's get started so on my desktop i'm going to right click on the start menu go to run type in winver and then click ok and I'm running everything within a Windows Server 2019 version 1809. That is the operating system that I have my SCCM. Now, if I open up my console and I click on this little guy right here, which I consider the file tab, and let's go to about configuration manager. And I'm currently running within one of my testing environments version 1902. Okay. So I have the config manager 1909. Uh, fast ring exe file which i will post it up within my github site so don't worry i'll probably uh, just give you the powershell script so if you right click on this guy do a run as an administrator you're going to get the user account control just click on yes uh, by default it's going to drop it on your desktop and the reason why it's going to drop you to your desktop is because the exe file is located on your desktop from here you're going to click ok and once you click ok it's going to say extraction completed just click ok get out of it and you're going to see on your desktop that powershell so on my start menu i'm going to type in windows powershell ic i'm going to right click on this guy right here and we're running as an administrator i'm going to get the user account control just click on yes it's going to start loading up the Windows PowerShell IC for me. And once it loads up, I am just going to open up this file. This guy, just open it up. Go to File, Open, Locate your file, and open it up. There it goes. So we are going to click on the Run command. It's going to run. And once it runs, what it wants is your site server. So my site server is, you know, your SCCM server, the name. So my name is btnhd-vsccm. You're going to hit Enter. It's going to start doing its thing. Uh, you know, it's going to update itself, and eventually you're going to get this. The command completed successfully, which is a good thing. All right? I think best practice is to make sure your SCCM console is closed. If not, close it, reopen it again, and you're constantly refreshing until you get that package. So I close up my PowerShell, open up my console. I'm going to go inside administration, and once administration, you're going to go inside overview and then locate updates and servicing. Within updates and servicing, you're going to see Configuration Manager 1910. I also had other updates as well. So I kind of bypassed 1906 and went directly to 1910. Ooh, sweet. Uh, you're going to see underneath the state column, it's going to say downloading. And eventually, take some time, but you are able to go to the tab right here and just constantly hit free and constantly hit refresh until it, the state changes. Uh, and it will change to ready to install. So you are able to right click on it and you have two options. Guess which option I picked? Guess. Yep, you guessed it. I picked install update pack. Just go for it. Get the nice little wizard. Uh, I did not check this off. I sometimes do that a lot. You know, it's not really best practice, but this time I didn't do it. Uh, I just clicked on next. Uh, some of the features included from the update pack. And I'm just going to click next from there. Pick your poison for the client update settings. Uh, I left it as a default with, which is upgrade without validating. Click next, uh, accept the license and terms, and then click next there. You're going to get a nice little uh, summary. Click next. Green check mark is always a good thing, but behind the scenes, there's always something happening, right? So we're going to click close. And then underneath the state column, it's going to start saying installing. And it's going to start changing because now he's checking for the pre secrets. And this is always the scary part because, you know, I kind of went directly to it. And uh, eventually it passed. For me, it passed, but I got a warning. If you want to know what type of warning I got, so if I click on uh, show status, and within show status, it's going to take you directly here. So I'm going to right click on this guy right here and go show status. 
and it looks like green check mark for download replication was green check mark right now it's in an installation phase but if you click on the pre could check where it gave me a warning and you go all the way to the bottom it gave me like a Siku server problem. It was just a warning. I'm definitely gonna do a little research on that so I can fix it. But now when you go to installation, it's basically doing its thing, which is a good thing. And the process took a while. Now when you go back, again, you could uh, click on the refresh button like a madman, like constantly click on it, click, 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 click. And eventually when you do click on it enough, <laughs> or you just give it some time, you're going to get this dialog box right here and you just click OK. Uh, the entire console is going to close, so don't freak out. You're then going to get a user account control. Just click on yes to continue. It's going to start downloading the files for the configuration manager. And then you're going to get this, which is pretty cool. Uh, eventually, once everything's completed, your console is going to restart itself. And then voila, you're good to go. Now, if you go back inside administration and go inside overview and then updates and servicing, for me, for me, I saw that uh, under the state, it was still saying installing. I was like, why is it still, why is it still saying installing? It's done. What's the deal? So what I did was I clicked on a little file, went to about configuration manager and version 19.10, it worked. So what I did was I closed the console, restarted the console, went back inside administration, went back inside overview, and then clicked on updates and servicing. And then when I saw the configuration manager 1910, underneath the state column, it said installed. And that was a good thing. And that's it. Other things that you might have to do is make sure that your client packages are your client packages are up to date. Make sure your boot images are up to date. And that's it, guys. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, also share out the video, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.